Welcome back for some more Chippendale Rescue Rangers. Zone D, the Toy Store. One of my favorite songs in the game. And we're introduced to fake blocks. Essentially, they just hop around. And all you take is one hit. You can easily tell which one's which. It's the red blocks. And those teddy bears just look creepy. And yoink. Ah. Okay, and stars, nice. Ooh. How many lives do I have? Nine? I think it maxes out at nine. Yeah, don't you hate it when lives max out? I'm not sure. Then again, it has a zero there. And if you really wanted to be a dick... Or if you really wanted to be annoying to the boxes, just stand underneath them and they'll just jump to their death. <laughs> Alright. Let's move on. And you quit hoppy. You quit being hoppy. <laughs> you quit being hoppy. <laughs> that was terrible. I apologize. And jack and jerk in the boxes. Oh, you know, jack in the boxes. You get close to them, they activate. And they just take one hit. You think they're gone? Nope. <laughs> jack in the boxes never disappear. Go away. Alright. See what's all in here. And we got toppers. Essentially these guys are... If they're not spinning like that, they're usually dropping... They're unbalanced like that. And they can easily hit you. But if you keep them spinning, they won't. They won't be able to get down and hit you. Keep them spinning and they won't hurt you. Alright, now to the next area. Well, we got evil carpet rabbits. Whoa, ah! Easy. Oh no. And then they'll just run away when you get close. You know you can kill the carpet by, uh... Bending down. And watch out, strong chickens. They take two hits. However, interesting trick. Do that and they take one. I don't know how it works, and here's those iron balls gadget was warning us about. Oh! Oh no. I knew if one of those levels would screw me over. I wasn't gonna mention it, but I guess I'll mention it now. Back in my heyday of playing this game, guys, I would always do it without dying. To the point where doing it with two players, the other guy would never have a chance to even play. Well, looks like I just lost that. Looks like I have rusted at this game. Ah, that's what I should have done. That one's actually demanding that you hit it. Not if you walk underneath like that. This one you have to do. And eh, just turn it off. Well, first death. Upset by that. Oh. And watch out, these things hurt. Well, you can easily beat it without quick chipping DLR. And we actually have to make it through this one. I took a hit, which I was not happy about. And a hoppy box. And yoink. Tell me there's an acorn. No. You shut up. You shut up. <laughs> I wonder what's in the, the presents. Something for me, I hope? Nah. Okay. Oh, oops. Nah. I love this music. Alright, and we got another fake block. And you go. Oh, did I find an acorn? I think I did. I wasn't noticing. And a free star. Yeah, it maxes out at 9, unfortunately. Why do that? That's so mean. And now the boss. The heavy tank. That throws mini balls at us. One, ah, don't get hit by the ball, otherwise you get stunned. Same applies to the metal blocks. 
Oops. Come on. Oh. You gotta hit him in the chest where the lights are. Seems like he's only appearing just that far. Usually he'll come in all the way. But I guess that's not the case this time. And zone D is done. I left the boat for you to use to get across the water in Zone E. Oh, by the way, I nearly fell into a hole in Zone F. Watch your step. Well, we're going to use said boat next time. Chippendale Rescue Rangers, to be continued.